in that night, in the midst of that love, near a beach called Paradise, on a little island north of Naxos. Temptation followed on a motor scooter. We couldn't outride her. Naked, garish in the moonlight seduction, she was Italy. It wouldn't stop talking on that pedal, pebble beach. Revenge can be noisy. You slept like a new penny while she, leather dark, opened like a loafer, showed me her coin slot. <laughs> what a slot, I thought. Later, over dinner, we were touring Italy, the guided tour of her desperate affair with a faithless Australian lover. Revenge can, can be dramatic. We decided, let's not take her into bed. You forget this part, and later lock me in our room for safety, for safety's sake. You are not tired on this night. You do not sleep. It is 1 a.m., and I am praying, please don't. I am pathetic waiting in that no exit room. I am pathetic watching those blue, blue doors, stroking that adopted cat. I'm not alone. I'm with the cat we named Aphrodite, watching those white walls, both of us behaving Greekly. Leaning out those tall windows, thinking, were I Rapunzel? I could climb down and cut myself loose, find you, and remind you not to play with strangers. I could run, but it's an island, and I know I'd just run into you and we would run in circles around that night. It is 3 a.m., and I know the bars are closed. There is no music. Even the Greeks are going to sleep. But you are kissing Italy. This I know. This I know, like the bitter hairs on my arm, like I know the pranayama sound of my breathing. I think maybe I do not know you, but I do on that motor scooter. I know the noise you make in the back of your throat, that rumbling. I know your smell. I know the way your stomach feels back at her hotel. I know the grin you get excited. You make that gasp. She tells you how beautiful you are. I know when she puts her fingers inside you rough and you don't like it. It is 6 a.m. And in Greece, the dawn comes like lightning. But you don't come at all. I come instead. I come apart all over that small white bed. I come apart in shreds. Like the remnants of your Italian-smelling clothing I leave later on that wooden floor. Revenge can be destructive. I know you are undone. And I don't want to be there, be awake, be when you walk through those blue safety doors. I want to be gone on some ferry, headed for a place where light has color in it. If I had Rapunzel hair to use like top rope, I would rappel down from this window and wait on the ferry dock. You would return. We would say goodbye the way Athenians do, by staying up all night and trying to stop time. But I cannot repel, and we cannot return. We cannot be there again. We killed some part, some faculty, 
like curiosity. Yeah. Curiosity killed Aphrodite. Thank you. That's Dylan Yates.